check us out on Facebook. Good evening, good evening, and welcome to Motor City Radio. You chilling with your girl, Sexy Shakinya, in the house. One more again, one more again. This is what we do around this time, people. I know it's past the time, but for those of you who've been hanging in there, because you knew we was coming, you knew we was coming, you knew we was coming. We here, baby, and you know I can't do it by myself, even though I try. I got Sam 44 Man in the building from Detroit Raw. How you doing, Sam Man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, what's up, world? It's your man, the one and only Mr. Sam 44 Man. Thank you very much last night for all those views. Y'all must have liked my topic. I appreciate that. What was y'all talking about last night? Girl, we was talking about bringing black businesses together. Uh-oh. My sister, she running Boom 360. Which is one of those revolving cameras in the platform. Mm-hmm. Glenn, I think we got a, got a little over modulation in my headphones. And but, the music's still going. But um, my sister, she came last night mm-hmm. and we kicked it. She running Boom 360, mm-hmm. one of those things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was talking about Sonya Purdy, mm-hmm. okay, because you know Sonya is uh, in, uh, uh, she, it, puts things together Mm -hmm. you know organizer then her man dj was here Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then dj came in because you you be telling all the business no i mean this is why you got the music still going i'm hearing an explosion over and over again like you got No, no, I was saying it because, you know, DJ runs a, a catering business, mm-hmm. Sonya Organizer, mm-hmm. my sister runs this thing. These are the combinations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got weddings, children getting ready to graduate. Somebody said something. y'all was having a party last yeah, night. Girl, she, y'all was yeah, taking pictures. Y'all had, <laughs> we, 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 we food, was who down. was catering? Uh, no, no, I'm no. Being funny, we, Sam, we, we, we had no food, but it was just the fact that the combination of all of us mm-hmm. as black people and mm-hmm. you know that's what we promote here yeah, and black good. businesses yeah, if yeah. we took the the three people yesterday mm-hmm. that i had on my show mm-hmm. and put it together and then had black participants then we would be doing good but Very we got good. those little trip ups like i'm gonna let you come to my event but because i'm not gonna promote your business i'm expecting something after i've paid all this well, you money. can't be dealing with those type people well you yeah, know we, like, we, yeah, we that doing that in like the black it. community yeah well, i don't know but you know what guess what what we doing here tonight at motor city yeah Radio? we got somebody in the house I heard, I heard somebody we got company yeah we do who, who, who we got? Now, he don't need no introduction over here, okay? We're gonna say I, I know legendary. He's I know he's bigger than the Aflac. Because I've been introducing. <laughs> I've been I introducing know he's bigger than Aflac. Him as legendary. We got Papa Duck in the building. Papa guys. Duck. Told y'all quack, quack. I told y'all we was gonna get him. I had to go get him, put him in the trunk, and bring him <laughs> out He was kicking and screaming, guys, but I got him. Ooh, fix it, Jesus. Did I say that I Papa home? Duck Turn is in the house. Turn my mic out. Turn my mic out. And you right know what? here. I got him here. Now, let me get the camera off him because he got this beautiful bombshell up in here i know i'm gonna get some views tonight because i got this beautiful young i told her i say you might you might do better than me last night because you might do some triple figures i don't know you got (laughs) papa duck in the house who is this beautiful Pleasure meeting her. Yeah, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell her what's your name. Is. Um, my name's Alethea. Alethea. And what is your, what is your, uh, <laughs> affiliation association with Papa Duck and his production? Uh, you said you, you told me you've been in a lot of movies. Yes, I'm yeah. an actress. I actually act. Yeah, yeah, that's what you see. I'm your or something. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, I'm, I actually am a character in this film. Uh, the character's name is Belinda, and she goes through a lot of trials and tribulations. Oh, okay. But, you know, we, we rank it work. We oh. get through. Yes. We, we got them here, yes. guys, and I told y'all they are here. And Papa Duck, are you got your mic is hot. We, 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 yes, Papa going Duck. On, my brother, welcome Duck. here. You, welcome, you hot welcome, man. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, there, there you go. There you go. What Thank brings you, you here? So yeah, radio. what what made you come to us out of all people? Well, the queen. Besides me begging. On <laughs> <the street. laughs> I believe that one. I'll buy that one for a dollar. She never had to beg. It's just that at the time, I didn't have anything, you know, ready. Mm. You know what I'm talking about. 
uh, the pandemic had shut me down. How you did know? that affect you? Did, was it hard man, for you? It was, man, it was. I, I work a regular job now. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's how that's bad, that's man. how uh, that's how it affect you. It affect me right. so bad, man. I had to go find a job. Man. Yeah, I feel you. Because my my art was in theater. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, my last play, which was Flowers, the one we shot this movie for. Okay. And once it was over, mm. the pandemic happened, so wow. we couldn't gather. We couldn't come together. Wow. You know, yeah. but what was I was able to do was take some of the cast members mm -hmm. and start filming. You know, those that was able to participate and for the past three and a half years or maybe close to four, you would think, Alethea? Yeah. Yeah, it's been close Alethea to four. Close to it's four. been a while, yeah. Okay. That we, we start filming this. We started filming it in twenty in the in the end of twenty twenty one, beginning of twenty one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And uh we start filming pieces of it, you know what I'm saying, to seeing how it was working mm -hmm. and before you know it we had something. Yeah. Now let me ask you this. When you you, because you say you was affected by the pandemic, oh, you yes, was trying I to make was. things happen. Yeah. Um, did you have to say I'm gonna shake the dice and people may not have been vaccinated, or d was vaccination a requirement? Well, I didn't care about that, man. Okay, I, I'm there not you with go. the government, okay. man. I don't, right. I don't mm -hmm. trust them. Just right, you right. Know I, mean? I feel personally, man. I ain't take no. So you just took the chance and said, "We gonna go out here and make this yeah, happen." We gonna make. Well, those who wasn't sick. Right, you know, and I, right. I, I, I guess I don't believe in it. And mm -hmm. even though they they claim that I caught it twice or three times, mm -hmm. it was just I just felt like I had a cold or something or like a I did too. flu. Yeah, mm -hmm. but um, uh, I was managed. I was managing Ford, a subcontractor at Ford. I was a manager down there during the pandemic, mm -hmm. and um, uh, the manager, the district manager, kept advising everybody to take the. The vaccination shot. Mm -hmm. He said, "I even got the booster," mm -hmm. and then two months later, he was laid up in the hospital <laughs> for three months for the back. I said that shit didn't work. <laughs> now, so. when you say the pandemic came and it shut you down, for those of you who, who people that's living under a rock and don't know who Papa Doug is, because every time I, when I say your name, people just say, "Oh my god, oh my god." I'm surprised people ain't outside the pop <laughs> right, right, right now. Taking pictures. When That's because I move in cock Negro. <laughs> <laughs> what all was put on hard? What all did well, you the, the thing is, is that when the video shop ended, because I didn't like the music, the music was changing. Mm -hmm. And it got, you know, I'm older now, man. I got tired of hearing, you know, our women being degraded. Yeah. I got tired of hearing about the dope slang and mm -hmm. popping the killing our youth. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. uh, it was showing in my face. And they were saying, what you going to do next? You mm -hmm. know, my mm -hmm. partner, Boudin, he said, what you going to do next? Because you ain't into this no more. And we did it for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And we showcased and highlighted Detroit's talent. And we did it in the community. So we had a lot of community activists you know, participation. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, far as stop the violence movements, mm -hmm. gun back initiative programs, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and things in that nature. Um, which was fine, but like I say, it was just the course of the music. So I was always intrigued on telling stories mm -hmm. um, in my past. Mm -hmm. So my partner told me, say, man, nobody can tell a story like you. Mm -hmm. Now let me give you a briefing of your mind. I went, I did um, six years in the penitentiary. Oh mm -hmm. damn, one year more than I did. And, uh, okay. <laughs> when I had, um, I had got the television taken away. Okay. Uh, off the compound, right off, oh. off the corridor. So. Okay. And they was mad at me. Say like, man, you know. So what I did, I stood on the table, and for two weeks I told stories. And I had them gathered around like they was lost, you know, mesmerized. And even when they brought the TV back, they was like, uh-uh, finish this story. Right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. You were the cause of them losing the TV. Yep. Now, you know what that results in. Yeah. But you made stories. I told them stories. Wow, like, bro. You're going to entertain. Yeah, you had to do something, bro. And, and it was so funny. Something. That when I got out of prison, mm -hmm. my mother died when I was in there, okay? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you. Uh, but my uncle, mm -hmm. he was like, man, what you going to do with your life? Mm -hmm. He said, man, there's no man in our family you can hang your hat on that's worth anything. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, he said, you got the opportunity to do this. So I started throwing out names of other big cousins and family members. He said, no, nah, they don't have what you have. Mm -hmm. You know, and I had asked him, I said, well, what happened to you? How you fall off? Mm -hmm. And he told me the story. This was about 26 years ago, man. Mm -hmm. And I never forgot. It was so powerful. I was like, man, that's a, a book. So when I, when I stopped doing the video shop, I started writing this book called Cloud Nine, The Fall of a Kingpin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that I niggas don't read. That. Yeah, 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 we I think did, I heard we about did that. it big. We was, it was big yeah. when I did display it. Okay. But when I wrote the book, I realized I said niggas don't read. Right. Mm -hmm. They don't, you know. So I said I'm going to put it on stage mm -hmm. and I'm going to tell the story on stage. Mm -hmm. And that started a whole, you know, different dynamic for me, you know, in the theater. So I started making my living there. Mm -hmm. And then the pandemic happened. Right. So, you know, I was like, what I'm going to do, you know, I'm no shame to nothing. You know, I come from the gutter. So mm -hmm. I will go work, you know, I will mm -hmm. make men. I tell make people, ain't nothing beneath me when it comes to taking care of my kids. That's right. I yeah. know that's, that's right. right. I know that's right. Yeah. So you have a movie that's out now. Uh -huh. It's coming out. And uh, give us a little bit of background on what, first of all, what's the name of it? It's To Crush a Flower. To Crush a Flower. To Crush a, to crush a okay. Flower. Okay. Now. Let's go with the background. Give us a little kind of oversight of the premise of what made you make that movie. What? Well, well, it's a true story. Well, because I like true stories, so keep on it's a, coming. It's a true story with the relationship with with the kid and the white woman. Okay, which wow. happens to be me. The white woman's involved. Okay. Yeah, I had I stayed with my grandmother because mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> I was a troublemaker, but. I stayed with my grandmother, and during this time, we talking about the the, the late seventies. Yeah. Okay. So, this lady, you know, fresh out of Jim Crow, fresh out of mm -hmm. the Civil Rights Movement, you mm -hmm. know, um, and she didn't have no no filter, you know. So oh, she, dig we that. outside playing. She called us niggas and coons and all kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and I would tell my grandmother. Mm -hmm. She would sound like a runaway slave when I tell her, you know, Ooh, don't be going down there in front of that white woman's house, mm -hmm. you know, instead of, you know, uh, uh, addressing it. Mm -hmm. So I goes over there one day and stumps her flowers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Prize <her>. images. <laughs> stumped stump the flowers. And when she came out the house, she cussed me out, man, and she had a heart attack. Ooh. Oh, wow. Right then? Yeah. Oh, oh, and it scared the shit out of me. So, <laughs> but I end up helping saving her. I was about to say, did she live? And we became best friends. Oh, so okay. forty five years later, I decided to write that story. Mm. So, okay, so it's all about y'all friendship, how y'all became friends. Mm -hmm. and, mm. But it also tangles around the relationship that my mother and father was was going through. But even though I I fictitiously told a different. Version. Story version that, but right. you know, they, it's no secret that they use drugs. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what they was they did. They know a lot of that. a lot of people was doing that back yeah. then. You know, mm -hmm. so I just wanted to, you know, just address drug abuse, drug addiction, right? Mm -hmm. Because that was my whole thing was to tell the stories of my parents, mm -hmm. you know, and they upbringing. When I wrote the book. Um, I wrote the book George and Pony. That's my mother and father, and then I didn't want it to be just like two users because they was they wasn't dope fiends. They were just users. That was a drug of choice. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want you know their lives to go in vain, like as if they didn't exist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how people viewed them. Mm -hmm. You know, and I wanted to make them proud and show the world that they was more than just that. Mm -hmm. You know, so but. The names in the in the movie is they are real names. Mm -hmm. You know, my grandmother is really my grandmother. My grandfather really my grandfather. Mm -hmm. It's just I just told the story a little. You know, I, I exaggerated because you know sometimes when people make true stories, they say the names have been changed to protect the, to protect the innocent. Yeah. And and you know, and it is it, this is a true story. Yeah. But you chose to say, I'm a put. My family's name and what made you say it? You were on you just because I, I don't never want them to forget them. Okay, you know, 
want to, they gone. They've been dead for over twenty five years, but mm -hmm. still yet. That was the world inspiration. Know who the hell they is? Exactly. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Now we got the beautiful Alethea in the building. Yeah, Miss Alethea. Well. I'm sorry, baby. You I'm know I'm dealing with. Pop is my man. You, know, right. old you, you the girl. Like when I see somebody <laughs> and I think I know him, and I'm like, damn, what about the old <laughs> I don't see you in somebody's movies, um, Alethea. I don't yes. see you on the yeah. big who, screen, Yeah, who, who we see? Where we see you at? Um, I've done The Letter, uh, which is on Tubi. Okay. Um, the Taker's Crown, which is on Amazon. Mm. Um, hmm. Oh, God, it's so many. Is and it that deep, a, girl? Well, I've been, been doing this now for, here? like, I don't know, eight years. Wow. So yeah, I've been acting and being a plus size model for eight years now. So now, when you do your right. filming and you out there filming, mm -hmm. where's some of the locations that you film? Oh, um, definitely Southfield. I've done a lot in Chicago. I just did a music video a couple of weeks ago in Chicago. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I do um, a lot of my work actually is in the Detroit area. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, not really, not too much suburbs. I've had a couple of locations in Troy. Are you plugged with any of the uh, artists here in Detroit? Um, I mean, do you do like a collaboration? Y'all both do things together. Uh, yes, do I have Eminem. No, no, anything? not that. Not that, I'm not on that yet, but I'm getting there. <laughs> okay. I'm getting there. I got to pray. But you do model. have some I'm local artists that, yes. that you do videos. Yes, for. I have. Okay. Yes, and um, I've done. I've worked with as well in mm. productions. So, okay. Yes. Um, uh, well, do you do makeup and hair, honey? Because you look fabulous. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Who look, your makeup? Look, she came makeup. in. She came in with that. She had yeah. her hat. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then she was like, can you tell me where the ladies' room is? <laughs> oh, I gosh, was like, well, it's not going to be yeah. a meeting in the ladies' room. So <laughs> here's the ladies' <laughs> room right here. Go on, get yourself dialed up for us. Right, no. I do everything. I do my own. And you can and, and Beautiful. I put it together. Thank yes. you. Beautiful. Yes. Well, that's, that's all I'm yes. saying. It's beautiful. And I'm Thank glad you. to have you here. But glad have you to been be to here. a premiere lately? They've been having a lot of premieres at the Bel Air. It just seemed like I just seen you recently. We were at the Blue Ice premiere. Right. About we a were. Ago, and I was just at another did, did you premiere. go and see that movie, Blue Ice? No. I haven't been at to any premieres lately. Fernanders. Um, Anderson no. Fernanders. He did a, yes, a right. I was at. I was in the film. You was in the film. Yes, I know. Yes. I know. I ain't at, tripping. At, yes, I'm yes, 51 yes. girl, and when I Sur tell you, soon a as family I family survival, a family yes. survival. Yes, That's I was. I was. I was, <laughs> I was <laughs> Captain <laughs> Gavel. Yes, <laughs> right. Yes. Okay, okay. I know. I'm on my mic. Yes. I was there. Yes. Yes. Room yes. Is near. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Y'all, I'm, I'm forgetting stuff slowly but surely. I can't see. <laughs> I can't hear. You know I'm what? That, I don't know so, what that's called. You know, Being high or something, yeah. or I don't know. It's called old age. But it's but called old age. Old age. What you say? Right. called what? Right. Old age. Y'all not gonna leave here until I figure out where the hell I last seen you. I just started wearing yes. glasses about three, four months ago. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't get no driver's license. All I can tell you is I see. You know what? And that's real. That's real. Mm -hmm. My wife could not get uh her driver's license yeah. because they at the Secretary yeah. of State they put her up in there and they said, Well, you you know, you can put your glasses on and everything. And then all of a sudden she could not read. Yeah, the mm -hmm. thing, and if you can't read I'm it, I'm scared to take yes. right now. <laughs> oh well, hey, here's a state oh, ID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, right. Basically, what I can do. Yes. but oh, you know, yeah. no, we we um, you know, getting old is something else, mm, though. Yes, something yes. Different. But you know what? Let me ask you this. And this is true. Young people that old people talk to seems to make it best for older people but for younger people getting knowledge from an older person puts them in that perspective of knowledge mm -hmm. do, do you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. what kids you know listening to older people nowadays I know, no, cause no, no. Ain't I, I know girl I, 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 I know i know i know but but do you do you see the analogy yeah. of what i'm saying i can't if, even get if, my own kids to listen man. to that. <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Look, if if but if, if you young people else. are listening right. to us or watching our show right now, think about this. Older people can teach you the history of our world, mm -hmm. of our race. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But to the same degree, you old ass, you can learn some shit from these young people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. I know what not to do. 
You, yeah. you, you see what I'm saying? They show right. you how to fuck up, man. <laughs> They on something yeah. different. I still just can't get yeah, with this the new drug generation or something. Yeah. So how? Yeah. So, you know what I'm so saying? How do, so yeah. casually just getting high. To so work how? How we? So how do we work with them, Shakinya? Well, I, I mean, I know with, you doing your attitude, attitude adjustment, adjustment program, and everything. You know, and we are enrolling children for this month. So guys, if you want to enroll your child, 12 to 17 with behavior issues, give me a call. Three one three. It is a good program, ladies and gentlemen. I would not be supporting it if it wasn't. Um, We go to the penitentiaries. Shakinya is really, really adamant about this. You know what I'm saying? And they just started back with the girls around. I'm just going to be honest. They need ass whoopings. (laughs) I'm I'm with you on that, Papa. I'm with you on that. See, this this new generation, man, of parenting. They want to be their friend. Gentle parents. Thank you, sir. You know, Say that again. They wanna, Gentle parents. And steady, you know, they saying, I'm not going to treat my child the way my mother, my parents did. I understand. Me. Yes. And I think that was some bullshit because mm-hmm. I was a single father. Okay. When I got a penitentiary, I got custody of my kids. And okay. I told them you gonna get your ass whooped right here. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly, that makes them right. a better person. That it makes does. them a better individual. They, but they call it right child now. abuse. I don't care. Child abuse. I don't you care. Know, Give them a timeout. Now, no, nigga, no, that time out work. Look, let me tell you, <laughs> the time out with me is after <laughs> I beat your ass so bad, your ass is gonna go to sleep. Right. Yeah, time out. Time out. That's a wrap. Yeah, that doesn't work. The benefit of the doubt when they used to get beat and they don't want to beat their kids, but the thing about it is when I tell my parents. When they come to the program, you can't leave discipline out. You have to find mm-hmm. some form. So even if you don't don't agree with the form of discipline that your parents use when you were coming up, you have to find something. Some because sort you of have to, they have to right. If you're giving them money, mm-hmm. you ain't getting actions. it right now until they get old enough and, and challenge them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you tell them no, they want to. You know. Challenge you, you know, step up to you, and these mm-hmm. kids today they go all the way out. They, you yeah. know what? Yeah, they. Take I, it had it I, I had my son step up. I had my son step up to me because I had, um, I had a uh, curfew mm-hmm. come in my house at this certain time. I don't care if you out there with your boys, but be in my house by ten. That's right. He come in at twelve. You got rules. Was it no lock? Couldn't get in? No, that's what I, I been let him in. Oh, okay. But I said, no, you disrespect me. would have been locked. No, 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 no. This, this got interesting. Mm-hmm. I let him in, and I said, what did I just tell you what time to be in my house? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I said, get in there and do what I told you to do. Or you know what you're supposed to do for your chores. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This nigga come in. <laughs> What are we doing here? Oh, he was about oh, to yeah. beat you. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What are we doing here <laughs> in my house? In your house. Puffin, now, puffin, this is even, this down even down more down. interesting. I ain't no punk. Mm. Get your ass in there. So I pushed him into his bedroom. I said, get this together is what I told you to do, too. Now, as a father, I'm turning around. I'm about to walk out. This is my house. <laughs> I get a... A arm come around my neck. <gasps> what? He choked you out. A, a arm. I, I'm, th- I'm, I, look, he I'm, I'm, I'm thinking right. that he's saying, thank you, daddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but as he had the arm around my neck, it started to compress a little bit. Oh, yeah. I said, no. wait a minute. No. <laughs> it, it did. The bottom of my legs, I felt him trying to. Lift me off my feet. Oh, so Lord. I got I got hard on my legs. Fix it, Jesus. And I said, mm. is this thing about to try right. to slam me oh, in my no. own house? Yeah, no. Mm. Yes, he was mm. trying. Oh, I'm going no. to the penitentiary. Exactly. Damn. Exactly. Lord, if, we if, are if, gathered if, here this evening if, if, to yes, celebrate yes. the life of <laughs> 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 Jesus. If it wasn't right. for my wife. Exactly. If it wasn't for my wife being there, because I you know I Immediately Lost reacting. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was in the corner. Dude. And I was pounding him. Hey, and then all of a sudden, my wife is like, Sanford, stop, stop, stop. I was like, Who you think you messing with? Mm. You think I'm a little nigga? I don't know how to fight. But I did five years in the <laughs> 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 I 
Who do you think I am? He had one of the, you know, the little star with the, you know, you got the blood, little something in your eye. He told people, uh, I played basketball and somebody hit me in the eye. No, your daddy hit you in the eye. You understand? (laughs) Don't ever try to play me. Right. Exactly. Well, Sam, man, I got something more interesting than that. Tell us about this movie that you got coming out because you got a premiere or something coming out. Yeah, I do have a premiere. Is that going to be at the premiere? Y'all, we got Papa Doug in the building. Can we come? Yeah, you do come. Do we have some tickets? Yeah, I got tickets. You know, we're going to show out. Yes. I could possibly I be it, so it, it, I got I got film experience. I I, I could possibly be maybe, uh-huh. maybe Glenn oh, Gl- Glenn messages. Glenn. No, I I've been in Beautiful Noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been yeah. in uh, Dance with the Devil. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, a yeah. good actor. <laughs> you know, just I'm from the hood. I got a role for you, Shakira. Shakira. Shakira sees me in some music video. I'll be in Pop and Crush Flower Two Two. Go on, let us know. Well, I have a uh, uh, movie premiere. It's going to be at the Senate Theater okay. on Michigan and Livernois. Mm. Uh, 6242. Hell, we had a war show there. Yeah. yeah. What's that address? 6242 uh, Livernois. I mean, Michigan, I'm sorry. Michigan, right. Right, right. Noise. right. At the state. There. Yes. And how did they get tickets? Shakira, you, you did. Didn't you go to the state when we had no. the Motor City? I mean, uh, no, Midwest I, I Award? I did not. I did not. Oh, wow. How, how can they get tickets? Yeah. Um. Damn, y'all, I'm having a hard time. We're sold out of tickets. They're going to have Damn. to go on uh, right. Eventbrite. Y'all can't even go. Yeah, that's how we was doing Boy, it. Yeah, y'all can't right. Right. Or they can get them at the door. We haven't sold out the theater because the theater said 800. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. You know, mm-hmm. so that's why. That's one of the time. main reasons why we mm-hmm. didn't go to the Bel Air. The Bel Air only seat 200. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We sold 200 tickets the first week. Right, right, so there was no way we can do the. Oh yeah, that, this is a nice. Theater. This is a nice uh, location. Yeah, we beautiful. did. We did the uh, Midwest Video Awards there. This network. Okay. Um, we did that there at the state theater. Okay. So um, yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, it I is did. Um, uh, uh, the last play. This the movie actually. Mm-hmm. The play that was our last play. Okay. Flowers. Oh, for real? I just want to mm-hmm. give you a it shout out, man, because you've been Thank going you. for a long time, and yes, your ma'am. name rings out here in the streets, and it's nothing but respect and love Thank when you, you queen. speak on Thank you, you, queen. you know, mm-hmm. so just the fact that I have you here, I'm trying not to fan out because I got you over here <laughs> on one side, that. and I'm trying not to fan out. Then I got Alethea over here. Why don't I see her on the big screen? Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? She's <laughs> a gem. Oh, oh my God. You know what, Alethea? <laughs> yes. In this movie... What was your character? What did you do? What did you uh, do? Well, Belinda w- was a mother, mm-hmm. and um, she ended up hooking up with uh, Papa Doc's character and getting together. Um, her trials was actually she was on drugs. Mm. That was the, the biggest downfall for her. Mm-hmm. Uh, she went through a lot of things. Um, and the character was kind of hard for me to play, to be honest with you. Mm. How so? Um, because... I don't have people in my life that were on drugs or oh, okay. were, you know, so this was on, a on new that level. Experience it, was a, for you. it was a new experience, but I loved it because it challenged me. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Papa Duck gave Girl, me great direction to... in all aspects, you know, yeah. of delivered. that character. No friends to help or me. nothing in the hood? Did you? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I... My mom, <laughs> I mean, coming come on, girl. Girl. coming up, so okay, so, I mean, it is deep. a blessing. Al- oh, okay, oh so goodness. alcoholism was around me, but not drugs. Drugs mm-hmm. was not around me, oh, at, you know, okay. so probably yeah, for, people, for yeah. me. Yeah. Um, coming up, my mother had me in the church. I was very active in many different things. Mm-hmm. So um, to say that I was engulfed in that type of society or atmosphere, no. So okay. to play Belinda mm-hmm. and to actually be a drug addict was something totally different and i have never done that Um, how hard was it for you to really i mean for you to be a novice to that character like how how did you even bring that character into yourself (laughs) when you never experienced honestly watching other movies or Mm -hmm. talking to people that i know that have lived that life Mm -hmm. um even though i didn't i didn't um papa duck coaching me or telling me things as well as bringing me in the atmosphere of certain places Mm -hmm. to so that I can get the feel and to see what's really going on Mm -hmm. um, is what really helped me to um, develop that character you know to put myself in her shoes because Mm -hmm. it's nothing it's far-fetched from who I am I'm still trying to figure out how hard was it for you 
to bring that character and you're a novice to that character to make people say, damn, she got a problem. She made it believable. Uh, right. That, okay. You know, yeah, that's that's what I'm how, a pop. Right. how did so you make her? Yeah. How did you make her? I mean, because I, I, you, you're you all player. We, you know yes. druggies mm-hmm. and, and, and drug addicts and stuff. Yourself. How did you get her, Papa, yeah. to sit back to bring that out of yeah. her when she's a novice and never known about that? Yeah. She shot the scenes at a real crack house. Yes. Mm. Wow. Yes. I the went to a real like, crack house. Absolutely. Okay. You know, pay the junkies. You know, we, we for to make this real. So these characters are not just butt. fucking extras. They're Fixing really Jesus a Christian oh, show. Yes. They, Hallelujah! Yeah. But they were yes. real. You know, people. Yes. They was real people. Yes, oh. and they worked with me in certain instances to help me develop that mm. character. Girl, tell me how can they, they, they sit back and get yes, that yes, right now. You know what, Glenn? Can we take a small little break? Because I do want to pull the trailer up before we get out of here, if that's possible. Can we do that? Yeah, we still got a little time. I'm going to send it to you. I'm about to send it to you. Okay, guys. send it to him now. We're going to take a little break because Shakinya want to take a little break. Oh, my God. I yeah, I want to see this. But it's 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 amazing. Yeah. Because it's amazing. I'm trying to figure to out. And I'm had. a producer. If I'm doing a shoot at a location that a bunch of crackheads is in there and I got my person that's in my movie that has never experienced this, how does that crackhead while they smoking give you the idea of okay. what it is to be that person? Well, okay. It doesn't. It isn't hard to to for me to observe, I'm just saying to observe I and do. Right. I, I know to observe and do. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not just very hard for me. Um, it's just getting yourself emotionally ready to do so. You know what I'm saying? A- after you, after that, everything I'm else flows. That, I can mimic whatever I need to mimic, mm. but to get myself into the emotional stance of that character is something totally different. So it's just taking time, going within myself and realizing that this is not me who I'm playing. I have to give justice to this character. Papa, mm. let me yes, ask sir. you this. Okay, you said we was in real crack houses. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what what has happened to those people that was involved in the movie? Have you done anything for them? Have you yeah, helped them I, I, to change I, I, their lives? Man, or? I give them money every day, but I can't mm. change their lives. That's what right. they want to do, right. you know. Uh, but I looked right. out for them. You yeah. know, I got my to give them to sign the consent. To, right. You know, to, mm-hmm. to be a part of this production. But I wanted to make it authentic. I so wanted they, to make it, it they, real. they are going to be who they are. That's mm-hmm. who they are. And they, they, I told me you come to the premiere if you want to. Right. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I want to give a shout out to everybody that's following me on Instagram. I see TikTok over here popping, popping. And always Facebook. Facebook, show me love, guys. Follow me on all platforms. She can you. Damn, Motor girl, City you Radio. Got a lot of I friends. know. We're getting hearts yeah. coming in on TikTok. <laughs> I'm loving it. That's because I got Papa Duck in the house and I got Alethea oh, fine butt up yeah. in here. We, we see the reason why I'm telling you all the shackles I got next to me, baby. She done got me some views tonight. Pop. Hey, we is here. What, 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 once Come again, on. did you? If you did, find it, he found it. Wait a minute, do 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 do. Da da man, yeah. we got the, the premiere. Only white woman or the preview, left in this black bad. neighborhood. Okay, let's check this out. Yeah. She Jennifer, this like is still my neighborhood. Honey, boo boo. Introduce understand. it right quick, Papa Doug. But it's getting pretty bad over here. Is it showing? No. Oh, what are you getting, it, guys? Check it out. There it is. Okay, now you. Hey, granddad. You know that white lady down the street. This is a movie that I'm telling you she be is something different than anything you ever seen before. Right. Yeah, all right, let's check Jesus. out this trailer. We're fine, man. You all right? You got a handsome young man there. Smart, too. Oh. Gonna be a doctor one day. Oh, is that right? You gonna be a doctor? <laughs> Like, whatever happened to my neighborhood? Don't be down there at that woman's house. I don't got time for that today. I'm trying to get to know you better and your son. Hey, Dave! I don't know. I can't have that around me and my son. Stupid, I hate you! Hey, you! Get in the back! Get in! Get in. Get this, baby. Get this, baby. And listen, you'll be right here until you get in the car. You're going to be right here, Kitty? Yes. 
What's up, baby girl? You, you good? Come on, baby girl. What you gonna do? Hey, you wanna get another one to let? Mom. Mom, I got some eyes. Move, damn. Granddad. Yeah. Do you think my mama love me? Yeah, of course she do. Hey, Belinda, what's happening? What's up with you? I love you dearly, but this is my home. And I plan on dying in it just like your father did. She can't be talking to us like that because y'all know who she messing with. Please, can you just give me something? My mama and you're trying. Papa. Yes, sir. Bring it in, Papa Duck. What you, I, I don't understand what you said, but I'm sorry. Fix it, Jesus. What I fix? Tell us. <laughs> okay. What okay. was what was the... what was it like to now on our show, mm -hmm. our network, mm -hmm. to see your work that you did? This is about to happen. This is going down. I'm never. I ain't never the one to pat myself on the back. Have you? Is this your first time? Is this your first time seeing your trailer? No. no okay. I, well, I, I, okay. I'm producing. So hi, 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 I know. Thank you very much for <laughs> my hands that. and everything. But so therefore, how you feel now? You on our network? Well, now. I got I gotta give shouts out to my partner, man. You know, Boudang. I call him the Great Boudang. Mm -hmm. You know, because he's so out cold with this here, man. You only realize he did that with one camera. Mm -hmm. Hey, dig that. Mm -hmm. And the way that he film and the way that he shoot, mm -hmm. um, it gives every scene is gonna be very entertaining. Very it's gonna it's gonna draw you in to where I don't care what part of this movie you come in at. Mm -hmm. If you sit for them three, four minutes, mm -hmm. you're gonna be stuck because the next three, four minutes is just as powerful. So mm -hmm. you saying basically it's like a suspenseful Drama, yes, it is. Yes, yes it's a it drama. It's oh, well, I definitely. love them. Yes, it is. Yes. In, yes. And this, is, a, and this is a true story. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Like I say, the, the truth of the story is the relationship between the kid and the white woman. Mm -hmm. Everything else has been exaggerated, okay. mm -hmm. but we, I'm using, I'm say, I'm challenged, I'm channeling, channeling, yeah, uh, the life of family members that I've seen, witnessed, dealt with, you know, what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And um, I can you know I can't let it go. You know what I'm saying? It just so I wanted to, even though if I told it, it still would be similar. Mm -hmm. But I just went overboard, mm -hmm. you know, to express and get people more heartfelt into these characters. Mm -hmm. You know what they go through. Right. Right. You know, uh, Alethea is a gem. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I first see the bro was was done by Gigi. Um, uh, Gina Tate in the play, she mm -hmm. did great, mm -hmm. but our story wasn't wasn't told in, in the way it is in this film because it was the whole premise was surrounded around the white woman and this kid. Mm -hmm. But when you telling the story of these drug users mm -hmm. and um, Alethea when she came and I was like, that's Belinda. Right. You know, and even yes. though she said I, I can't, she said I can't do. I never yeah. done this before. I said, Oh yes, you can. Yeah. You know, because you're an actress, you just have to. You know, if you focus on not the, the character but the act, mm -hmm. you know, because you have to make the act believable. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done a play, Mama's Boy, The Making of a Man, and I shot dope in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, really, they really thought I really done it. Mm -hmm. right. Because I watched my parents do it for so long, you know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. like routinely that I can Im imitate what they done, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, in front of the audience. Mm -hmm. I smoked crack in front of the audience. I showed them how back in the day when I was, we were smoking crack, but they was free basing. Mm -hmm. right. So right. I had to show them with the cotton and on, on the stem and right. alcohol, the whole thing. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, for them to say, wait a minute, this shit is real. Right. right. You know, right. this right. is real. Exactly. So when I told Alethea to focus on that, Action mm -hmm. of the dope fiend. You know, right. when we was doing the, the, the dope fiend scene, the, I mean, the ho dope house scene, mm -hmm. it was actual dope fiends there. I mean, I'm going to call them dope fiends, but mm -hmm. they was users. We call them substance abuse. Right. Substance abuse, right. yeah. Right. Okay. So right. they was, they was, no, that ain't how, that ain't how a junkie walk up to that dope. That ain't right. how a dope fiend do. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. it was that's why I told us focus on the act. Mm-hmm. Because if you can make the act look good, then you are ready to act. Right. Is this Absolutely. Your first movie up? I've done a lot of short films. Okay. You know, but this is the first feature film. Wow, and yeah. it's about to be on the big screen. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, or do you, I'm excited. That, let me thank you, question. Excited question. thank you so much. You were taking part in this drug scene, house scene. Yes. What did y'all do? <laughs> Bacon soda, B12? God, you're getting too damn technical, I, I, Sam. Man. Say, <laughs> wow, because you don't want to Don't clean out your right. We just did right. flowers. <laughs> but, Papa, you know what I'm talking about. We did flowers. Right. Okay. Yeah, you right. you got to have that Exegesis. effect. Yeah. You got to have that effect. Yeah. I mean, yeah. even though she's not, I'm just saying. But you know, you have to so give that credit to Boudang. Yes. Because Boudang was able to allow her to, I'm going to tell you a secret, allow her to hit a cigarette. Yeah, and then put the pipe to her mouth and then act like she hit it. Bang! And then blow. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm good with that. That's nice. That's nice. Trickery. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Camera trickery. Yeah. You know, people don't know if you're not a producer or you're not behind the scenes. It's a scene where she's in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm sleeping. She's doing drugs, right? Mm -hmm. I'm snorting. Yep. And everybody, I swear, everybody said, "Man." She snort cocaine for real. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, nah, man. He said, what, 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 what was y'all using then? Because no, but that gives credit the way to she you, though, did it, your acting You really ability. thought, yeah, yes. I got yes. to give it to her. That's what it does. The way she did it, you thought yes. she was using it. And y'all, yes, I want to give a shout yes, out to Gigi Hunter. I know y'all see me fidgeting with my wardrobe, but I felt a little nostalgic to oh see. My I wanted to go back in the day. Gigi Hunter, y'all remember Gigi Hunter? Yes. Where I want to look and see if she's still he or she's still alive. They still making clothes and what's really going on? Because I've seen people with crochet outfits, but it's just not the same. This is the authentic. Oh, this is Lori. I'm gonna Lori tell you, normal, we man. really, really appreciate y'all coming out. You are very, very busy, man. Yes, yes. Sir. and Love you it. are too. Yes, I mean, yes, sir. Because uh, I said, Sam, yeah. man, is he there? Yeah, he like no, but he sent the representative. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. And, 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 and okay. when I seen her pull yeah. up. I was like, is. look, okay, I, look, I watched her at right. the truck. She had her hat, <laughs> <laughs> threw her hair back a yeah, little man, bit, man. Right. put her hat back on. Yes. I was like, oh, she here to see us. Uh, yes, yes look, most definitely. I'm smoking the yes. blunt in the beans. <laughs> I, I, ro- I, I rolled the window down. I said, uh, are you here for an interview? She was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, uh, very professional. Vi- Radio, yeah. <laughs> Motor City Radio. She yes. is the queen. And we, I, she, she was like, I'm or the, I said, okay, let's go in <laughs> and let me take you in. Thank Shakinia you, Sam, ain't man, here for yet. Being uh, here. I say, where Papa Duck at? She was like, oh, he's on his way. Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, because yes. Shakinia didn't tell me and that. And I'm, I'm sorry for screaming at you today, Sam, man. I got to give you, I, I got to put look, some respect on I'm your name, Sam, man. I'm trying to put the man. thing together. Because you look. was here on time. I was the one that was late. But I don't like nobody asking me where I'm at, where you going, what you doing, who you doing. <laughs> me too. No, I don't like that. And you Sam, know man, good for that. You where you what? at? You know what? Stop. <laughs> I, this afternoon, Calm I had put out a post. Mm-hmm. I put out a post. I had uh, lunch. I was eating lunch. Mm-hmm. I made perch, fries, coleslaw, Ooh, bread, yeah. everything. I was like getting a big lunch for a big star. Just getting ready to come on there. And, you know what I'm saying? Papa Duck. Man, I, made then, I, I was like, I had to let him know. Uh, Shakinia, Papa Duck coming did you the see that I posted and we will that be for back. you? Yes. She was like, we'll be back. Zephyr, you ain't gonna bring all that fish and stuff. I was like, no, I ain't gonna bring no food at all. I, I mean, we y'all. do eat on here, right. but I was like, no, I ain't about to do it. I'm saying you gotta have a big lunch uh-huh. to be ready for mm-hmm. the big guests. <laughs> right, right, right. 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 And so we got the stars in the house. Well, we really, man, really appreciate you, y'all. It's, it's Thank time, you for having us. It's time to go, Sam. Well, it's wait, time wait a minute. What? Yeah, I know. We gotta, we gotta go. Yeah, time to go. Oh, right, all right. All right. This is what we do, y'all. If this is not enough, go to my YouTube channel, Shakinia. Check me out on Coffee and Conversation. Please go to Lulu Publishing or Amazon and get you a copy of Dysfunctional Family Not Guys. And this is Motor City Radio. This is what we do every Friday at 7 p.m. If you would like to be a guest, give me a call. 313-586-2240. And you can be in the house with the queen. Yes, and Sam, man. Hey. Well, I'm a little person, but Thank I you. am the king. Thank you, Papa Doug, for coming. Thank, Thank you, Queen. Thank you, Papa Doug. Thank you, 
you very much, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. You That's are on tune in right That's now, it. right That's now, it. around That's the world. It. You are tuned in to one of the hottest shows seen around the world. This is Motor City Radio, and I will see y'all next week for Detroit Raw Live. And that's also nice on the War Winning Network show. So I will see y'all next week. Papa Duck, love you, big daddy. Me and you gonna kick it. Yes, sir. uh, Shakinya, don't don't hate. She be like, you always take all my good guests. No, I don't. All right, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's Boy, go. Boy, bye. I'll see y'all next week. This is Motor City Radio right here on Thank Motor City Radio's BitRadio.net. We'll see y'all next week. Thank you.